Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will make hổ tiếu satay or satay beef noodle soup. This is one of the lesser known specialties of Saigon, especially in chợ lớn or big market area where the Chinese community gather. The dish originated from Zhuqiao in China and was probably brought to Vietnam by the two people. The dish is quite similar to pho, which is the traditional Vietnamese beef noodle soup, but the satay consistency and the flavors lend this noodle soup a more stew-like feel than pho. And the broth has the brown color and fragrant smell of the roasted peanuts and sesame. Uh, this recipe of broth is a combination of 20 different spices such as garlic, onion, ginger, lemongrass, star anise, cinnamon, chilies, peanuts and sesame which brings enough unique spicy, sour, fatty, salty, sweet taste that is really hard to find in other simple noodle dishes. Another variation of this noodle soup yield venison which is deer meat and it's called hổ tiêu sa tế nai also really tasty. Let's begin! Helen's recipes. Firstly, add about 35 grams of diced pork lard to a saucepan and cook over medium heat without any oil to render out the fat. You can replace uh, pork lard with vegetable oil of course, but the pork lard adds a really nice flavor to the broth and that's the secret of the restaurant that I know. Next, soak about a tablespoon of dry shrimps in warm water for about 15 minutes to soften and then drain and bleach in a food processor finely. Then remove the pot rice with a slotted spoon and to the fat in the saucepan add some minced shallots, garlic, ginger and chili, about a tablespoon each. Saute for about 1 minute until fragrant and then add the dry shrimp flakes and about 20 grams of minced beef. For the seasoning, you will need a tablespoon of Boca seasoning powder. You can buy in a pack like this at Asian store. This is popularly used to make beef stew in Vietnam. Uh, it has star anise, anato seed, cinnamon, turmeric, coriander seed, black cardamom, cloves, fennel, nutmeg, pepper, and mandarin peel. So many ingredients inside. If you don't have it, you can replace with five spice powder, but just one teaspoon instead of one tablespoon of the bacca powder. Keep stirring to break up the meat junk. One key flavor of this noodle soup is peanuts. We will use bold peanut butter and ground peanuts and sesame to add to the rich and nuttiness of the soup. In goes 2 tablespoons of peanut butter and season with 2 teaspoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of salt and some chili flakes or hot chili sauce of your choice. At this dish is supposed to be spicy. Then add 1 liter of beef broth for more hearty broth. If not, you can also use water if the beef broth is not available. Bring to a boil and adjust the seasoning to your taste. Next, thinly slice some beef. You can use loin or round cut for this. Put into the freezer for about 30 minutes so it's easier to thinly slice. For garnish, you will need a tomato, a cucumber and a star fruit. Just remove the seed and thinly slice. These will add some fresh and tartnut flavor to balance out the rich and nuttiness of the broth. Of course, you will need some herbs like the Asian basil, salted herbs, and rice paddy herbs to serve along with this amazing noodle soup. To prepare the noodles, soak the dry rice noodle in water for about 15 minutes to soften and then bring another saucepan of water to a rolling boil. Then get a handful of the soaked noodles and some bean sprouts in the noodle strainer and submerge into the boiling water for a couple of minutes. Then lift it up and let the water drip into a bowl. Make a whirl to warm up the bowl and pour the water back to the saucepan. Then transfer the noodle to the bowl and toss with some garlic or sesame oil and some extra ground peanuts and sesame and vegetables for garnish. And add a dash of vinegar 
Place some beef slices into a ladle and submerge into the soup broth to cook it slightly and ladle the soup together with the amazing nutty broth over the noodles. To serve, just squeeze in some lamb juice and add some chili slices for extra heat. It's an amazing sub, let me tell you. It is busted with flavor and yet still very well balanced with the fresh herbs and the vegetables. It's a perfect soup to serve in cold winter days and hot days the same. So I hope you will give it a try and if you do, please share a photo on Instagram with hashtag HandRecipes. I'm always waiting for your amazing photos. And please click like and thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have requests for more noodle soup dishes like this. Check out my noodle playlist for more amazing noodle dishes and I will see you then in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.